Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. We're here with Dan Luan again at San Diego Comic-Con, Kotobukiya's booth. Hello again, sir. Hey, Arnie. Nice to see you. Great to see you. Great to see Kylo Ren in your full-size Art FX statue line. This thing, I have been just enthralled with it since you presented it at the Star Wars panel a couple hours ago. Yes, this we actually just put this in our case like maybe two hours ago, and uh, I, I just can't get over just checking out the sculpt and all the details. And as I mentioned in the panel, if you look at the base, it does resemble Darth Vader's melted helmet. So very subtle. It's not. We don't. We didn't want to. You know, just blast that across to to you know the buyer. But it's there. And once you know it's there, I don't think you're going to forget that it's there. No, oh, I it, I see it now. But I can see where it would be a little Rorschachy. Yeah. But the fact that it's really snowy, yeah. like the Star Killer base. I think you found a great happy medium there. Yeah, that was when when I saw the concept illustrations and the 3D renders and. I knew that that was the direction our designers were going to be going in. I was real excited to see that. And being Art FX, we're going to be able to also to light up that lightsaber. So uh, in the final production piece, uh, what you're viewing here, of course, is the Paint Master. But in the final production piece, that lightsaber will illuminate. Uh, just a great pose on that, too. You know, there's been, obviously, with The Force Awakens coming out less than eight months ago, there's so much Kylo Ren out there. But I think you guys really found a dynamic, exciting pose there with, like, the Force handout and the saber over it. Yeah, and just the snow being caught on the ends of his uh, outfit and everything of, like that. Just a real exciting piece, and I'm really glad that we're able to continue our artifacts line with Kylo Ren. And the Vader, we've talked about him before at Toy Fair and I think New York Comic Con, but he's getting real close to release, right? Yes, we're looking at a fall of this year release for Darth Vader from A New Hope. And I, I might have mentioned before that we were looking to put maybe some lights and sounds into that. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case with this release. But still, I think it's a great pose, a, a somewhat of a museum-like pose. And uh, if you're looking for, uh, you know, to add a new Vader to your collection with that type of stance, I, I think this might be a really good option. Yeah, it's been a long time since you guys did the last Darth Vader with, like, the bounty hunters around. Yeah, we had the bounty hunter Vader, and then we had the Vader with the light-up helmet as though he's being shocked by the Emperor. So it's nice to see a new Vader in our collection. And what's coming up in the... Is the Artifacts line going on in the future? Anything yes. you can talk about? No characters that I can mention here, but I can assure uh, your viewers that we will be adding new uh, Artifacts Star Wars characters to the line. And then on to the Artifacts Plus line, and I've, I'm straight up saying this is my favorite Force Awakens collectibles line. Oh, and I, the reason I'm saying that is I, I talk about when we reviewed the Phasma just a couple shows ago, we reviewed the Stormtroopers a while before that. They are so economical with their space, so detailed, at such a great price point that versus you know a $400 statue and things that these things have hit my sweet spot yep. for Force Awakens collectibles. Yeah, I like the fact that like as you mentioned the price range plus the fact that there's some minimal ability to pose the uh, particular statue with certain mm -hmm. ball joints and replaceable parts so you can do different poses and um, you know it's it's a nice medium between action figure and high end statue. So here being released I mean we have the Force Awakens the Kylo Ren is available early here at the con? Yes, we, we actually flew some in from our uh, factory, so we have those available now at the show. Uh, you'll probably see these arrive at retailers uh, early August. That'll be the, 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 the widespread release uh, date for Kylo Ren. And then the uh, R2-D2, C-3PO, and BB-8, have those shipped yet? That's another uh, early release that we got here at the show, so you can expect those to arrive around the same time Kylo Ren does. Oh, nice. And then you've got here, uh, this is my first time seeing, the, C the R2-D2, Yoda, and Ghost of Yoda 3-pack. Yes, yes, it's a 3-pack. You get the R2-D2, and he's all muddied up, just like he fell into the swamps of Dagobah. We've got Yoda, and Yoda comes with multiple parts. So you, you don't see here, but he also has a meditation face going on. So you can pop that head off and put on the meditation face, or med meditation head and then he has a different arm pose as though he's just channeling the force and then as you as you mentioned we've also got an extra little uh, Yoda ghost from I believe that would be Return of the Jedi so so we've got Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi here 
That is nice, and I can't wait to get in here with my macro lens because the detail on Yoda's face is incredible. You've got the little lines around the eyes, you got the irises and the pupils painted on there, yeah. just for such a small piece, just incredible work. Yeah, and that's just one of the great things about, about our, our artists and our, and our developers is we really do try to get those details as far as, uh, we try to push as far as we can. Uh, if you look at the BB-8, just the detailing and the color uh, of the orange and, and, and getting at, you know, the weathering, the, the very subtle weathering of the metal. So, so just things like that uh, really help set our product apart from maybe some other manufacturer's item. And these are all vinyl, right? Because Kylo Ren's cape and everything, actually, especially the tattered piece, really has a cloth look. Yeah, it, they're made of ABS and PVC. So the PVC is the softer plastic, and the ABS is the harder plastic, yeah. And you announced a couple of Barnes & Noble exclusive Artifacts Pluses coming up? Yes, we have an R, uh, I believe it's R3PO, the red protocol droid from Empire Strikes Back. And we have a new uh, uh, droid also, and unfortunately the, the name escapes me at the moment. So I'll have to uh, touch base with you a little later and provide that slide just so you can show which, uh, which droid that's going to be. Yeah, I took a photo of the slide when it was on, so we, we'll, uh, we'll flash that along the bottom. I don't want to give the wrong name here, you know. We've, this is actually our third run of, of third year working with Barnes & Noble to do exclusives. So they've been a great partner, and they love having these pieces. Uh, they're going to be very limited, so uh, as I mentioned in the panel, usually they put them up for pre-order, so if, if uh, your viewers are interested in those pieces, they can uh, jump on Barnes & Noble's website once they do go up for pre-order and, 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 and secure them. Yeah, I had to do that with the last two you did last year. Those things were blinking, you miss it. We went to our store and they ended up having to order them online. They sold out the day they got them in. Yeah, I mean, generally each store will only get a handful of units each for, for their display. So they, they do tend to go fast at certain locations that are a lot more popular than others. Yeah. And then you also announced a couple new Force Awakens characters, kind of breaking from the mold, some unmasked characters coming out. Yeah, I mean, going back to what we did with Luke Skywalker and Leia, we're, we're, we're moving away from the troopers a little. We'll be doing Rey and Finn, so a two, an, another two-pack from a Force Awakens. Um, and like most Artifacts Plus, they'll have multiple parts, so you can switch out Rey's head. Uh, so she's got the mask on, mask off, lightsaber, uh, staff versus lightsaber. Saber. And then also with Finn, he'll come with a additional head that you can put on the First Order Stormtrooper. So you can get that early look from the film where he had the uh, Stormtrooper armor on. Uh, very cool. Does the Kylo Ren come with multiple parts as well? Kylo Ren does come with multiple parts. You can have the hood up or down, and you can have his arm raised or lowered, or he can be doing like a for force push. Awesome. So is there anything else coming up you can talk about? We, of course, know the big elephant in the room you can't talk about. I can't, I can't talk about the characters, but we will be supporting Rogue One with products. So uh, look for those announcements coming in the next couple of months. Awesome. Well, Dan, this is tremendous as always. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Arnie. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stocked and the force be with you.